lettuce eat. She's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. Dollar Tree clean with me, zoning and decluttering. Zaire, Jacqueline, Dave doing his thing. Dutch oven meal hacks. She's coming back. She's coming back. Hey everybody, we're going to be looking into the freezer. We did this about five weeks ago for a spring cleaning video and it needs to be touched up after a big cleaning project. Stay on top of it and every few weeks go back to it and if it needs touching up, take care of it. If you're new, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for dropping by and clicking on my link. Everyone else, welcome back. We are doing some decluttering and organizing with the deep freeze today. If you're new, we have a very informative description box down below. Check it out. Make sure you smash on that subscribe board and check out our Clean With Me playlist linked down below. Looking into my freezer, we're going to take everything out of the top shelf first, zone one. And we have some frost buildup as I suspected. And we're going to remove that and get it taken care of. Then we're going to go through everything from the top shelf and put it back. When I do decluttering and organizing, I do things in zones. And within the zone, we have smaller zones, such as each shelf. And it really helps me stay focused. If you never used a zoning before, try it. For example, zone one is going to be taking everything out of the shelf. And then zone two, I'm going to go through everything. Zone three, organize everything that you've taken out. Zone four, putting it back in and then taking care of the frost up at the top, zone five. By creating smaller zones within an area, it really makes this decluttering project easy and stress-free and helping me stay focused and not getting overwhelmed. Now that the first few smaller zones are completed, we removed everything out. We're gonna get rid of all of the frost up at the top and it's early in the morning, so I don't want to run the hair dryer to kind of melt it first. And this flashlight that I'm using is very heavy, and it really breaks all of it down. I'm not going to get it completely done. I'm just going to remove a lot of it just so we can get stuff back into the freezer and make sure nothing's blocking any of the vents. I've been using the flashlight for the past few videos by taking care of my freezer, and it really helps. I used to use a knife. But the flashlight I feel a little safer with so I don't accidentally cut myself. Always use goggles and protective gear if you don't wear glasses to keep your eyes safe. Now everything is out of the top shelf. We're going to go through everything and assess the situation here on the table. Those are pork chops. I can put them into my other freezer because we have pork night on Tuesdays. And knowing what you have in your freezer is going to help you save money so you don't overspend. I'm going to be taking out this ground pork because I want to make some pork sloppy joes. And then I have all kinds of vegetables, desserts, and cool whip. And I have some chicken. We like to have chicken on Sunday. We meal plan. We have a meal planning playlist linked down below. Click on all other playlists and it'll bring you right down to it if you scroll down. And we have all kinds of snacks in here. Beef patties as well. Beef patties are good for lazy South zoning steaks. within the zone, we're going to go through everything and take care of this white basin and empty it out so I can see what's in here. I'm going to be putting other items into my smaller freezer within the kitchen. Anything that's outdated is going to be discarded. And we're going to sort through it and I want to keep only Dollar Tree items in this wash basin. So when I'm doing my Dollar Tree dinners and other Dollar Tree videos, I can just look in the bin and grab what I need. Plus, I'm going to organize it by category and play around with it until I get it to the way I like it, putting the larger bags to the back. I like to do less commonly used to the back when this situation arises. Now we're going to put things back into shelf one, zone one, the final part of the smaller zones, and organize it to the best of my ability. These shelves don't give you a lot of room and it's not going to ever be Pinterest pretty and it's not going to stay like this. So don't get in a mind frame once it's done. It'll stay organized and decluttered. You need to stay on top of it. If you've done a decluttering project in about a week or two, go back to that project and assess the situation and see how it's looking 
and if it needs decluttering, spend a few minutes. Add into your regular cleaning schedule a decluttering day so you can go through everything and declutter. Spend 20 minutes per that area and remove items as you're going along because that way you're going to reduce your clutter and unstuff your world. I'm getting all the items put back in a way that I think will be accessible. I want to put those pretzels on top. I have a movie I want to watch that I got from our library. Watched a movie last night. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And then I have Shawshank. And I want to have the snacks handy so I can have my movie night. The next shelf or area are Zone 2. We're going to do the little zones within the zone. And we're going to take everything off the second shelf. And then we're going to look at the situation on the table. Go through it all reorganize it and then put it back just like the top shelf this really helps me stay focused when i'm doing big projects such as a deep freeze to get the project done even when i'm doing deep cleaning within my bedrooms i start with a zone and add in smaller zones within that zone so i can get my task at hand completed we're just going through all the stuff that it's kind of shoved in here and I got to put it back in more of an organized fashion. I'm finding things as I go along, like all the ice cream that I have, and we're going to get that put to the top. I have some cookies. I have kids coming over. I think I might make some homemade ice cream sandwiches with the cookies and the ice cream for them to enjoy as a treat. Unfortunately, they won't be able to go outside today. Three days ago, it was 60 degrees, and it's back to winter and 20 degrees in my part of New York State. Getting everything from the back of the freezer. Here's a quick tip. When you're doing your deep freeze and you have open bags, put them into a Ziploc bag so the food stays fresh, as you see here in my hand. And that way, loose items from that bag won't get stuck in your freezer shelves and end up all over. Now we're into the smaller zones within the main zone. We're assessing the situation and we're going to see how things are going to go back into the shelf. Anything that's been in my freezer for more than a couple years is going to be discarded. Always check the expiration dates on the packages or you can look up the information online. We're getting all the Dollar Tree items into a pile. I have some Dollar Tree dinners videos that are scheduled to come up within the next week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We like to do five ingredient dinners and we like to do one pot meals and sheet pan dinners. So check them out in our cooking playlist link down below. Now we're going to go through this basket really quickly. I want to make sure all of David's snacks are in one area. So when he opens up the freezer, he's not going through everything, making a mess and not putting things back the way that they belong. I have some more garlic bread and extra vegetables. I try to keep all the vegetables in one basket. I'm going to keep all the ground beef in the same basket with David's snacks with his snacks to the front because the ground beef are less commonly used items. He's going to get everything out of there and let the frost stay in there so it keeps the food cold. I'm going to play around with it. Always play around with it. These anitizers are very expensive. If you find them at the Dollar Tree, grab them. It is a really good buy and you get quite a bit of them. My husband really likes them. And I'll get the rest of the Dollar Tree items put into this basket, which also came from the Dollar Tree. They have a really great line of organization projects on a budget, not a sponsor. Continuing sorting through all the food, I'm going to put back into the basket from Dollar Tree. And then we're going to get it back into the freezer. And always play around with it. Work quickly and remove whatever you can to unstuff your world. Now that the first few smaller zones are done, we're going to put it back in into the shelf, which is zone two. I'm going to put the basket in first. You can see how neat it is. David can look in there and he can find what he's looking for. I'm going to retrieve the garlic bread from the top shelf and I'm going to put them both down on the second shelf for now. I'm just going through making sure it's how I like it. When you're doing these kinds of projects, just because it's done doesn't mean it has to stay that way. Work at it until you find a system that works for you. And I'm going to move them over all the way to the right. And I want to get some of the bags over here on this side. We have all kinds of frozen things. and From vegetables to fish to fruit. And I want to put them back in where it's easily seen. 
I'm going to put the pancakes towards the front because they'll go first, the less commonly used items to the back. We do do smoothies from time to time. Fruit usually has a really long shelf life within your freezer. Always know your dates to help reduce your waste and always rotate your stock. These extra bags of broccoli and green beans are going to go to the back and I'm going to know where they are for my future videos for my Dollar Tree dinners. Zone three, third shelf down. We're going to start removing everything off of it and do the same exact thing as we did for the first two shelves and continuing on with this decluttering and organizing project. Any of the items that are David's are going to go up to that second shelf in that bin. Found some very old items that I can discard. Whenever I'm doing these kinds of projects, I like to remove five to 10 items or as many as I can from the project to unstuff my world and to downsize and to declutter. It's very important to declutter and downsize within your home, not just your storage areas or your living areas, but also your areas where you store your food and stay on top of them and inventory them so you know what you have, meal plan for them, and it's gonna create less waste and save you a lot of money in the long run. I'm just going to continue removing everything out of here. I want to make sure anything that's David related is going to go into that one section of the freezer so I can open it up, see what's in there, and then remove what he wants to eat. Anything that's going to be for a regular dinner is going to go into the smaller freezer and taken out for next week. We do a rotation meal system with theme nights to make things easier. We can plan up to two months in advance. Now there's not much from this shelf that's going to go back on to the third shelf. So we're not going to look on the table. I'm going to get the pies put back. I want to get the chicken wings put back. David loves to make his own party wings. We have a deep fryer. I should do a video on that. We haven't done a chicken wing video. And if we did, it's been a long time. I'm going to put the other pie run on top of the other one. I flatten my ground beef because it saves a lot of room in your freezer and it thaws so much easier started doing it a few years ago put david's jamaican patties right in the front where he can see it because there's no more room up on the shelf above us with all the extra snacks that is for jacqueline jacqueline can be very picky but does like chicken once in a while we get the rest of the bag items put on this third shelf before we go down to the basket and go through it and see what kind of vegetables we have those pork chops are going to stay in this freezer because i have some in my smaller freezer in the kitchen and get things back orderly in an organized fashion. On to the final zone. We're going to take everything out and go through it and assess the situation. And we're going to organize it to the best of my ability. There's a lot of produce in here from Walmart, Target, and Dollar Tree. I like to keep things in categories within this basket. Have a little section of great value, a little section of target and a little section of dollar tree and so on and so forth anything that's a few years old is going to get discarded and uh, downsized i'm going to put some things accessible to the top so i can use them for our dinners this weekend and during the week i never plan my sides but we always keep a full overstock of all kinds of produce on hand now we're going to put everything back by category or by store so i can reach into the bin and I can grab a Dollar Tree item, a Target item, or a Walmart item. And then I know what's in here once again, and I can update my inventory list on my phone of all the overstock and our deep freeze. And then when we go to Walmart or one of the stores, we know not to buy that item and use what we have on hand first. It looks like we got like four bags of broccoli and corn, and we have a lot of sugar snap peas and mixed vegetables carrots there's a lot for us to go through and add on to our dinners that we've meal planned now we're going to put the basket back and take a look at everything that we did within the freezer and all the zones from the main zones to the little zones getting everything organized and decluttered and kept me focused on the task at hand for a final view in short after a big spring cleaning project a few weeks down the road, schedule some time to go back into that area that you decluttered and organize and touch it up as needed. Remove items from it once again if you can and continue to unstuff your world 
further update your inventory if it's your freezer make sure you rotated your stock and meal plan from items within the freezer so when you have an overstock freezer or even a small freezer stay on top of it you know what's in there declutter it often if you don't have self frost take care of that everything is organized you can look in there and see what you're looking for i put all of david's stuff in areas where you can see it and grab it and then do what he needs to do I have some stuff out for the next few days. We meal plan. Meal planning is important. And meal plan for what you have. And also keep an eye on your shelves with your dry goods and your canned goods to make sure you're using them properly and always rotate stock. I rotate stock, but things get pushed to the back, as you saw, and then they get forgotten about and expire. And rotating stock, as long as you condition yourself to do it, will help reduce that. If you're new, we do giveaways every 100 subscribers. There are gift cards, $10 amounts listed down below. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes by mail. Our social sites are linked down below with all of our playlists. We have a newsletter. If interested, email me, countryboots1268 yahoo.com. Thank you, everybody, for your continued ongoing support. Have a fantastic day, and smash on that subscribe word. Thank you for watching.